500 kilowatts. So in this video, I'm going to see what is the fastest you can make a car go in uh, BMG Drive with no mods. Now I know Muria made a video similar to this about a year ago. It was mainly um, sort of celebrating the introduction of uh, the Chevetta Chantilla, and he managed to get to a top speed of it was 435 miles an hour. Right, future Andy here. Uh, Muria actually got to only 357 miles an hour, not the 435 that I thought he did, because I just skimmed through the video. And the one that went as fast as I thought it did uh, is modded. So, um, unbeknownst to myself, I actually get pretty close to beating them multiple times over in this video, and I think I'm actually nowhere near it. So, that will just explain uh, some of the things I say in the video. So, this is a car I made already. It's a Brockle Bastion. I can hit Okay. Oh shit, my controller. Okay, so I've added the engine debug there. Last I checked, it made around 2,200 horsepower or something like that. So let's give this a go. So I didn't do this with the air speedo, but with the normal speedo that's there, it says 333 miles an hour when you get to the top speed. I think I was a little bit wrong about the horsepower. Oops. So this car is actually quite stable at these speeds. I know it's kind of hovering about a little bit, but you can, uh, can kind of control it. No, the, oh fuck's sake, why does that keep happening? But that's how fast I've gotten so far. So let's see if we can improve that. And our bash is maxed out, so we're going to try this uh, Grand Marshal. I'm going to configure it a little bit. This is an online config I have. Why a Gavril, you might ask, is because the Gavril 6.9, nice, uh, liter engine is one of the best, most powerful, most robust engines in the game. So we're going to see what we can do with it. You know what? I'm, with the Bastion, I actually had a, a seat in it still. I don't know, brain cares feel like kind of cheating, but that's not the point of this. Don't tell me it doesn't even make a thousand horsepower. I could have sworn this did. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. I should maybe watch where I'm going instead of the power figures. Oh! I've adjusted the ratios a little bit. Uh, I haven't adjusted the final drive yet. I think we're a little bit far off our 400 mile an hour goal. Oh, it's gonna overheat. This is the gear ratios as long as they can possibly go. We're moving. Okay, I think I might be nitrous time in a second. If I can get it to go straight enough. Okay, nitrous is armed. The engine's gonna blow up. Okay, yeah. Dude, this is faster than the Bastion by a long way. I really thought I was doing something with that Bastion. Tire pressure is all the way up to reduce the rolling resistance a little bit. I'm gonna leave the nitrous button ready. Okay, here we go, here we go. 352. Can you do it in the Bolide? Okay, we now have Bolide brain car. Those exhaust pipes are jiggling. What is up there? Man, we're barely stretching this engine's legs. Let's see how close we get. Yo, yeah, what? This isn't doing bad. Not the fastest accelerating thing there ever was, but if it's like this without the engine really being put under pressure, I wonder how far you could really take it. Okay, we've upped the boost pressure a little bit. Dude, this engine is happy. Look at the, look at the temperature. Okay, let's actually properly push this thing. So we've turned the boost up to the max. We're having minimal cooling problem right now. Okay, so we've overtaken our personal best. Okay, now the, the cooling is a problem now. Okay, now we're starting to overheat. Can we get 360? No, oh, I wasn't paying attention, I gotta be honest. I'm gonna try that again, except we're gonna enable the nitrous much earlier. 360. Three six four. A respectable effort. I just noticed I didn't have the heavy duty long block on this. I could probably boost it up a little more. Well, it seems to be happy. It's not blowing up. No over torque risk. Damn. But it isn't as powerful, and that is a problem. We can deal with that. But more boost. Okay, now we're talking. 
Wow, it is lacking quite a lot. Okay. Oh, why do I have a roll cage in it? Dude, that has got to slow it down. <gasps> 500 kilowatts! Surely 500 kilowatts is going to blow it. Okay, 500 kilowatts. Oh! <gasps> okay, okay, okay. It's time. I think it could do it. I genuinely think it could do it. Oh! Oh. oh! Now what I have learned from tuning is that the higher in the rev range you are, you're less likely to get an over torque risk. So I am just going to just dial back sixth gear a little bit. I forgot increasing the rev limit is an option, so we'll give this a go. Ah! The clutch. There we go. Now I'm starting. Why does it keep doing that? Now? You know, I'm starting to have doubts that it's really going to get to 435. Oh! That was the wrong button. It's probably smarter to just spawn another card. Oh! Why didn't I think of that? Just use another card and essentially get rid of first gear. I'm going to make the first gear even longer. Now they do this in real life, so I'm not really concerned about whether it's considered cheating. Probably should have got something a little bit quicker now to be fair. Okay, that worked. Those gears definitely need to get closer. There's not enough nitrous. Oh, that's the smoke. It's constantly wheel spinning. Oh, I just realized what's wrong. I'm only adjusting one of the final drives. Oh! So I think I reached the maximum of whatever the Bastion is going to get to, but I did go back and fiddle around with this Bolida, and I think it is pretty good. Now this is being recorded a bit later, I, there's a few days between the first two videos, if you're wondering why the cameras are different, um, it's just, I think it looks a bit better. And that tail cone support is purely so I can push the car. I'm going to do this in realistic gearbox mode because this has pretty massive overheating problems. It says it's over coolant overheating. Look, this is the coolant temperature. Okay, it's time to recreate the Muya special. Yeah, he did use the diesel. Yeah, it has just shy of 7,500 horsepower. Yes. What? So How the fuck? And it is the diesel he's using. How the fuck, dude? Oh, he modded it. Let's see what we can get to. I know we beat Muya um, at various points, but uh, I'm looking to get to 370, whatever the guy in the comments got to. This could be the run. No, it's not going to be. It's going to be worse. So, could I beat Muya? Yeah. Could I beat this guy in the comments that said he could get it to 370-ish? No, I couldn't. So, I waved the white flag there. I might make a spreadsheet of the cars I did here, and we might make it a series that I find out how fast you can get all of the cars in the game. Click here if you want to watch me and Leo fooling around in BeamNG online. Subscribe, because most of you guys aren't. And this is another video YouTube thinks you'll like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out on the track.